Okay, Symphonic, do you want to take it away? Sure thing. In the bottom right-hand corner of the map, with the match currently at 1-1, one to one, it is Wolven's Kenshin. On the other side of the map, it says opponent in the blue. Also a Prolus player, this is Blask. Both open gateway first. Should be a pretty standard PvP. Although we could yeah. be seeing some proxies. So I think this map is, you know, doesn't lend itself to the uh, to that wild uh, aggressive play as much as Fracture. It's a pretty large map, a lot of bases that can be taken pretty easily with the uh, I would say the first four bases, certainly the first three can be taken with um with relative comfort mm -hmm. i think the rush distance is here it is like 50 right i i don't recall i think it's yeah 50. I'm, not, I'm not sure but yeah definitely longer than fractured that's for sure yeah way longer and it's just a, a very big map overall like you can take what's that eight bases and that's just half of them so Nakamura, you know what the number one complaint about Fracture is? What's that? It's broken. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the pain. So it took, you, took you a second there. To, Chad appreciated it. Oh. Chad, Chad, Chad is actually calling for me to never cast again. What's up? Come at me, bro. It's broken. <laughs> Double Stalker start again. Um... Ooh, versus Stalker Sentry. What? What's that yeah, all about? Okay, I don't know this one. What's that? I have no idea, actually. I'm used to, you know, I'm used to seeing sort of what we saw in the previous PvP, and that's either Adepts or Stalkers. But, uh, you know, may maybe some of the Protoss players in chat might be, you know, might be keen to this build, but... Stalker Sentry followed up by another Stalker. I mean, I guess it can force field the ram if there's some st um, some stalkers or adepts, but that's about it, right? I think so. I mean, that's you know, that's what I would imagine would come from it. Now there is a probe, by the way, on the other side of the map. I'm guessing it's just going to be for a scout. Yep, that's exactly what's uh, what's going on there. Blask, however, is planting a pylon and going back home, so that's going to be for warpins. Yeah. It's Blast, pretty far yeah. out, so it's hard to see it. And with the Stalkers of Blast coming in, uh, actually, Kenshin will probably have to stop. Oh my god, he's going to see it. Oh, no, he pulls back, he pulls back. And that Expo um, versus the lack of an Expo could actually be super dangerous for him to deal with. But both players going Dark Shrine, that could be pretty oh, chaotic. And the Force Field! The force field. That's what this is about, I see. Yep, question asked, question answered. That's why you make the sentry. However, that stalker did get in and it scouted the dark shrine, so that's pretty nice. Yep, now imagine having a DT war and only one of the guys has detection. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, the detection player wins that, right? <laughs> uh, I, I, I saw games like that before go the other way as surprising as it is sentry actually gets some really nice stuff done there but only but three workers do get killed still i think kenshin is in an okay position but what about detection uh yeah that's gonna be a problem he also doesn't have a third gateway dt's are warping in already for blast here and they're bound to do some real damage what if they unpowered the gateways? I mean, yeah, this is a very, very dangerous position. Now, yeah, G <laughs> GG is called immediately. Oh, my God. 